Hello everyone, this is Tuesday, and I have been down here cleaning a little bit and sorting through, and I was hoping that my order that I thought was coming in today would get here in time, and I waited a few hours, but uh, Amazon contacted me and said that it was delayed, so I had ordered some 10 minute cure polyurethane resin. Because I had planned on doing a coaster set that I'm going to give away. And with that, being able to do the back with that, it's it's doable in one day. Now, we're going to start on it, but I don't think I'm going to get it done today because it's in the afternoon. And I don't think I can get, do two layers. Um, and it's going to take two layers of resin. So, we are going to, we are going to get started on that. And I will show that to you in a minute. We are also going to do something with this one. Now, I got these in the mail. Uh, this was a small order from AliExpress. I paid $0.75 cents for this and $0.82 cents for this one. Um, it's just an oval <clears throat> mold. Nothing special. And I'm looking for my <laughs> tape measure. There it is. Okay, so I can tell you. On the inside, it's going to be like 7.25 inches by about 4.75 inches. The the total uh, length is almost seven and a half. By 5.25 and I'm, I'm gonna say it's probably about a quarter of an inch thick let's see yeah it's right at a quarter it's a little over a quarter but not quite a well, maybe a half an inch yeah it's close to a half an inch um, but we're not doing that one today. We're going to be using UV resin on this one. Because it is, you can see through it, somewhat. And we're just going to make a little, I'm going to have to cut that, but that's okay. We're going to put that in there, and we're going to make a little stand. Uh, that actually goes in in it too and it's this little stand right here I have broke dishes all day long today I hope I don't break any more I thought I kept it out but okay it's this little mold right here And I can do these pretty fast because I can do these with UV resin. <clears throat> and it will it will stand on that. So we are gonna do that. I also have this. I thought it would make really cute magnets. And of course I am getting ready for a craft show in May. And I have these really cool stickers. It just almost perfectly fits on there. And I thought I'd do a few with uh, UV resin also. Uh, but then I also thought, I have these, and I thought, oh, Easter's almost here. And I thought, I'm going to make uh, a few little magnets just go on my refrigerator. Uh, so when the grandkids come, I will have something up there. And they're, they're just about the perfect size because you don't want, you know, the whole thing. And we might fool around with some of their color uh, UV resin and some of their new glitter UV resin that I got. But I've got a bunch of these Easter stickers. I bought those last year. You can see. Thrift store. <laughs> um, so I thought we might do that with UV resin also. 
But before we get started with UV resin, I want to show you the custard set I'm planning on making. <clears throat> Let me put this up. <clears throat> I should have brought some water down here. I've been down here for about two hours. <clears throat> and my throat is getting raw. Because I need to drink something. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to make this coaster set. There's the ones that fit. Let me see. Are you on the... Yeah, you can see it all. Okay. Looks awfully dark. I'm still trying to figure out my lighting down here. But, what I'm hoping fits in it are these. Just a girl who loves crafting. And I want to make these, and I want to give them away. And these are uh, iron-on heat transfers. And, of course, you know that I put them on <clears throat> resin all the time. So, we're going to get started with this. And, yes, I put a silicone mat right here. I got tired of having to scrub because the resin would stick to this. And I finally got my SL out here. Did you notice that? Yeah, Southern Lady. You saw me. Oh, <clears throat> you saw me do that. <clears throat> I may have to stop this long enough to go upstairs and get me something to drink. <clears throat> Yeah, I see something. I cleaned these. I cleaned every one of these. I wiped them out. I cleaned them with tape, and then I wiped them off with alcohol. And I'm still finding stuff. <clears throat> okay, my question is, are these going to fit in here? be two in each one, which gives us a total of four. I thought this would be a cute little giveaway. You know, we're all crafters. Well, most of us are. Mm. Let me cut it down a little bit. I don't want it to look like it's crammed in there, though. And sadly... <laughs> I do not own a coaster set besides this one, or the Bee Honeycomb one, that has four coasters to it. Pretty much every coaster I have is just two. And there's no way I'm going to do this with two, and then have to do it again with two, and that, yeah, that's not going to happen. It's the crafting that's going to get me, huh? Ooh, I don't know, y'all. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. But before I pour any resin, I want to be sure. Because all we're going to do is pour the clear resin. Uh, well, no, actually, we're not pouring the clear resin. We're pouring the backing. Which I think is going to be white. I know, that's boring, but... Oh, I could put some buttons in here. But that really, yeah, it's for people who sew. But, uh, but I do have buttons. I thought it would be cute, wouldn't it? But I'm putting the backing first. And I know that black would just make that, it would just disappear. Or something dark is just going to make it disappear. Now, I could do... I can't do a pink because of that. I could do a green. 
a green glitter hmm I could do an opal I could do this <laughs> oh, yes this is one of my favorite ones I could do that oh I think that would be pretty okay we're gonna do this and what we're doing is we are just doing the the glitter right now uh, I'm gonna let that cure and then we'll put these on and I will put a top coat over that and that's how I'm finishing that I can go ahead and pour this and I think I'm just gonna pour it all I may put just a touch of color maybe and I'm going to move this over here and just do it on this My heat. All right. I'm going to move this up some because I know it's level about right there and I want it to be level while I'm pouring. I know where it's fixing to be is level because I am going to move it over here as soon as I get poured. I had a level in here. I was going to check it. I need one of those levels. I know you've seen them where it's a small little level and you put it down. There's a name for them and I don't, I, I forgot what they're called. I need to get me some of those. Oh, y'all. You can be so proud of me. You see that? Of course, it's just a Dollar Tree one, but it will do for right now. I got a new x -Acto knife. Actually, I bought it a long time ago, and I just found it. <laughs> that is bad. Okay, I don't think we're going to need these today. So I'm going to put them all back in here together. And I'm going to set them right up here. And I did this once before, and I forgot. I think I did it this way, actually. It's the way that it worked out the best. And that's the way we're going to do it again. See, there's... I don't know where that stuff is coming from. Oh, my... And this tape is not working good either. It's splitting. Well, I'm putting glitter in it. So I don't think any every little spot's going to show anyway. So we're going to move on. Oh, but before I do, I have to welcome everybody. So for all the newcomers that are here. My name is Beth. Welcome, and I am so glad that you are here. For my subscribers or for those that have never been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I do appreciate each and every one of you for coming and supporting my channel. It, it does mean the world to me, and I just want you all to know that. Alrighty, I hope you're going to enjoy this video. I have no idea what's going to happen. I never know what's going to happen. We... <laughs> We're going to use this, but I think we need some kind of color. Some kind of color. And I am using paper cups. I don't like the plastic cups because I like to heat my resin with my heat gun. 
And those plastic cups or resin, it, they melt. Yeah, I've had it happen. This the the glass starts going shrinking. <laughs> Like, oh my gosh. Uh, okay, y'all. Help me choose just a little touch of a color to go with that opal. Now, part of me says a blue, and almost like a blue alcohol ink. But I'm afraid, see, that's going to turn it sort of purplish, isn't it? No. But I sort of want I want sort of a bluish green, I guess. And oh my gosh. I need to ooh peacock blue. Oh, I wonder what peacock blue looks like. Let's see what peacock blue looks like. Yeah, if you if you're never sure what a color looks like, I'm just taking and of course, this is going to be a lot stronger than what it's going to be in resin. But it gives you some kind of idea. And I'm sitting here looking. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. That's the one. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of this in with a lot of that. <laughs> and I'm debating. Now, I have the T-Expert, just regular resin. I also have the Let's Resin Casting Resin. I do have a lot of regular resin. I also have the T-Expert 4-Hour Resin. I have a little bit left of the Let's Resin Epoxy Resin. I think I have, I don't know how much of that I have left. Oh, now that cures pretty good, though. Maybe we should try that. And then let's resin. I think I have enough. Oh, I think I do. But what happens if I don't? Oh, well. I'm going to say that's like... I'm only putting the, the back. So I'm going to say one, two, maybe three ounces total. I just want a thin layer of that. One, two, three. I don't know, maybe four ounces. Let's see if I've got enough. But first, I gotta put gloves on. I got up this morning. We lost power. Remember on the video when I said, Oh, y'all, do you, it's thundering out there. Do you hear it? I was down in the garage doing the video. And then I went upstairs, and of course, it takes, it took me about two hours because I have to save the video on my phone. That takes about an hour, and then it took about an hour for YouTube to upload it. And I hadn't changed, I hadn't gotten the thumbnail up, but I'd saved everything else that I have to do to it. And we heard a big boom. Me and Max, my grandson, uh, I was at the computer in the dining room, and uh, he came out, and I said, did you hear that? And he said, yeah, it sounds like a tree fell. And... It it wasn't thunder, you know. It was a, a it was a different sound, and the we lost power. And then we looked out the window. We saw this reflection out the kitchen window, so we looked out. There was a fire going in the next door neighbor's uh, behind her house, and and so we went on the back porch. And when we realized that there was a live wire down, and it was sparking. Well, of course, it's been raining. The whole ground was wet. We're out there barefooted. Thankfully, we're on our deck. But, I, you know, everybody else went in the house. It was like, no, you know, we're not going out there. And um, thankfully, somebody showed up. But they turned the power on with that line still down. See, they hadn't figured out there was a line down right there. And somehow the power came back on, and when it did, oh boy, did that thing catch on fire. I mean, it was a huge blaze going back there. And of course, it wasn't long they figured it out. They turned the power back off, and we were out of power for, I don't know, several hours. But thankfully, I was able to do the thumbnail and get that loaded up. And I think I got the video yesterday loaded about 10 or a little after. 
uh, but we wouldn't pad a video at all if if I had no time. I mean, you know, if I'd done it a second later, there there would have been no video up last night. But okay, let let's get started. We're going to see if we've got enough resin to. Uh, I don't remember how many ounces a hundred mil is. And I don't understand why everything is in that. But I'm I'm looking it up. I'm going. And I want to know. I've never done it before. How many ounces are in a hundred ml? Why does it do that? How many ounces are in a hundred ml? And I, I hit it, and then it goes to Google is weird, 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 weird. How many ounces are in a hundred ml? Three point three eight fluid ounces in a hundred ml. Seriously? So that's three point eight fluid ounces right there. And I, I think that I just need four. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're doing 60 and 60. That's going to give us a little bit more. And I think that I've got plenty to do that with. And it's the B that I don't have a whole lot of. So, let's see. And we'll do 70. Just in case. This is really thick. Oh no, it's more like 80. Okay. Yeah, when I'm in doubt, I put my cups next to each other. That's about right, okay. Okay, now I'm going to warm this up before I put it in the cup. So y'all hold your ears. Yeah, I'm showing you how I do it. Because some of y'all are new and you've asked and I hate to keep telling everybody we'll go back to this video so every once in a while I'm going to show me mixing resin up and that's for the ones that are new and they've never seen it before and, and if you don't need to see it then you can always fast forward it
I'll tell you, this glitter, this chunky glitter, and that's all I've pretty much got. I have very little fine glitter. Um, it's a mess to clean up. That mess that I made yesterday, oh my gosh, I know that I was cleaning up for at least an hour. Part of me doesn't really want to use the the big chunky. It's pretty, but I don't like what it does. See, I'm going to top myself right out of it, aren't I? But I don't have any fine glitter. I have some of that. I guess you go that route with just a little blue. Let's do that. First off, let's mix this. <laughs> let's not forget to mix it. Thankfully, I have never done that. That doesn't mean this is still really thick, so I'm going to hold your ears, or fast forward through this. Because I hold the, I have the heat gun down here, and then I just turn the cup around. And it works. And you can tell, in just a minute, it's going to start being a whole lot easier. To mix and that's telling me that my resin is warming up and warm resin is a lot easier to get mixed up and it helps with the bubbles too I do scrape the sides as I mix, and I am scraping the bottom also. Make sure that it's mixing really well. But it's a lot, lot thinner, so we're going to put that in there. I'll show it to you. That's resin is really good about degassing itself, the bubbles. <laughs> I put that. mat down to keep me from having to do this <laughs> and I'm still getting resin all over it okay we're gonna start is this an opaque one shake well We're shaking. Okay. 
one, two, two drops. That's all I put in there. Okay, we're going to pour some of this in there. Oh wow, they actually put a shaker on this. So you don't use too much. <laughs> Goodness. Well, that's going to take all day long. I don't think that's going to be enough. Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, that is very, very pretty. It's not very blue, and I don't want it to be really blue. I just wanted a tint. See if this helps. I found this. See, I lost it and I did not know where it was. Oh, I have to cut it. I started to say, why is it not coming out? think that worked. No. Let me see if this will work. No. Good gracious. Well, how far down do you have to cut it? I don't even think that's... There it goes. I don't think it made any difference. Sure, you can smell it though. Okay. So we're going to pour it just. Well, I don't think I made enough, y'all. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> okay. This is what we're going to do. I am going to make a little bit more. But for right now... Because I don't want that to be, oh my gosh, do y'all realize I don't have any pivots? I don't have any. I'm looking. 
And nope, I don't have one. Oh, what am I going to do now? That's what happens when oh, I've got these little bitty tiny things. Well, let's, let's use it. I don't know where they came from, see? Hopefully it will work. Come on. No, it's not working. It's so small. It's not picking it up. There it goes. No, that's, that's, let's see, let's see if I can't do this without making a big mess. I just want some of the same in each of the legs. I am going to make more. But I don't want it to be an obvious difference because... That's about, that's good enough. Okay. It doesn't belong there. Huh. I found this piece of glitter. And I know it doesn't belong in with it. So let me get one of these to try to get it out. Did I get it? No, but it's floating now. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to mix up just a little bit more. Let's bring a little bit of alcohol. And since I don't need much, I'm going to just use these. I think that should be enough, right? Let me use these just in case. Okay. If my hands weren't sticky, I'd I'd put you on pause. But right now I can't even touch the camera. Oh, and this is gonna be way too much resin. Oh my word, I don't know what I was thinking of. Okay, I will come back when it is 
ready to pour. Okay, it's mixed. And what I have decided to do is I just drizzle it a little bit. Oh, that's pigment. Nope, 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 nope. See, I almost goops. Goop, goop. I am going to drop. I am going to drop some alcohol ink if I can find some blue. Um, I may not be able to find any blue. I've got almost a hundred bottles of alcohol ink over here, so. I'm trying to look through, I'm looking through Lex Resins right now, but I've also got, uh, I hope you can hear me, I've also got Pinata and uh, Ranger. I'm looking for a blue. Aqua. Is that a blue or is that a purple? Just to give it some color, give it something different. And of course, I don't want it to stain my mold, so I put a little bit of resin. On my spoon. I'm telling you. I'm beginning to think maybe I'm not supposed to be doing resin. I enjoy it though. Boy, this stinks. I'll be quite honest with you. This right here stinks really, really bad. Sorry, you see my arm because I'm trying to get some... Something to wipe all this off with. And it's all over my hand. Okay, good enough. Now I've got 
still got a bunch of resin left. Uh, a bunch, a bunch. So I think what we're going to do ahead and pour this no it's got to be on the mat there it goes it was making it wonky and then it's not level And that is not that's too much because I've got to put a top coat on this okay a bubble come on sometimes you have stubborn bubbles I don't see any bubbles Okay, and I don't really have anything else. Well, I've got these small. I got a bunch of resin. I don't want to waste it. So what I'll do. Is I'll make some more birds. You can't have too many birds, right? And some crystals, maybe. Is that it? I don't know. So let's see if we can fill these up. And I'm going to put a little bit more of the peacock plate pigment in here. And I'm going to put some more glitter. Oh, that's pretty. And this resin's getting hot. Oh, I got a spot on that. Hmm. 
and set it over here. Now there's something in that one. There's a big old chunk of something in Oh, this is the one that I did with the polyurethane. Hope we didn't ruin this mold. I don't know. It's not coming out. I've got a bunch of it, so I've got to do something with it. I still have some left. Oh my. Okay. Let's pour this even though the head never comes out. I've gotten one to come out. One. We got a little bitty one. Okay, let's pour the little bitty one. Goodness. Okay, here's a big bird. Surely that will be. Oh my. I've got to have other molds. Let's see. Maybe those. Um, Let's do this one. Oh, wow, look at these bubbles. There's bukus of bubbles coming out of this thing. Still have resin. That's this is okay. I have skeleton head. Now 
another skeleton head. <laughs> I have enough to do anything else with. Okay. Good gracious. Okay. We are going to very carefully move this over there. Oh, let me get more gloves on. hope those things don't fall that's what i'm worried about i was not planning on moving this with those things in it oh there we go please no sir no there we go okay they all stayed Whew. on Okay, if I can get the, the center really good to where those don't fall over. Okay, I am hoping that that is done. We're going to clean up a, just a little bit. not planning on doing that much but I mixed up way too much resin and that's what happens when you do I guess I'm gonna have to buy me some pipettes I've not ever bought those they've always come in with my stuff but I guess I've used them all, and the stuff I'm getting, they don't send them anymore. I don't know. I'm fixing to start with UV resin now. I just hit the light. I am expecting two Timu packages that I'm sure they ship together. And uh, one from AliExpress. And I believe... All three orders are nothing but molds. And I think it's a total of like 48. Oh, 
Okay. We are good. Let's play with some UV resin for a minute. That I've got to put up because we did regular resin on that. Let me get my UV lamp over here. Okay, we are good, that is not plugged in. What is that too? That's a heater which is not going. Okay. So, I'm looking for my tape so I can clean. Uh, it's right in front of my eyeballs. Probably need to. No. Yeah. Okay. On the back, I see glitter. I, I can't tell if it's on the back. Evidently, it's not. I don't think we're going to use the heart. Okay. 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 Let's pull all this stuff down. That's the colored glitter. We don't need that on right now. So that is there. Just color. And then this is there. I don't know if this is their um, coloring, but I was looking for yes, the metallic series. But then there's a, a, a I thought there was like a galaxy one too. This is metallic. Oh, this is metallic. Starry. Starry color series. That's what I was looking for. Wow, there's a lot of metallic, though. Yeah, that's a starry color. Starry color. That's a starry color, too. I don't remember what these look like, but I remember them being really pretty. Maybe we should just play around with these and see what comes up first. And then decide on what we're going to 
put in it. And you know, I have something in one of these, and I don't know what it is. Uh, I put my UV resin in these black bottles. And these are all empty. But I have one that is full. And I don't know where it's at. Hmm. I think I put it in here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's right there. Let me set this back up here. Oh, we're not using it. It's this, and I'm not sure what's in it. I brought this from upstairs. All this was upstairs, and I'm trying to get everything from upstairs down here again. Let's see what's in it. And these are so much easier. If you keep them turned upside down like this, because they're so thick. Oh, I think that's just clear. I think that's just clear resin. Look at there. I was probably using it for something specific. That's good to know. Okay. So what should we try? I am almost out of this. Oh, and I don't want to have to go by anymore. But I need to mix it first. That's where these cups come in so nicely. I know I'm probably going to be using all of this, so I'm going to just pour it all in this one little thing. So I don't have to keep fighting with it. Because it's almost out. And it's got, it's got bubbles in it, which normally, Light Wish, you don't have any bubbles at all. But I see bubbles in here. And it's because I'm putting it in here. Yeah, I'm very slowly doing this because I am putting a bunch of bubbles in here doing what I'm doing. That's one thing I never worry about with Light Wish is bubbles. But I'm trying to get the most out of here as, as I can because I'm almost out of it. Somebody said on uh, YouTube that the coupon was not working uh, that Lightwish sent me. And I don't know what they were trying. But if anybody else is having an issue, please let me know. Because I went to it three times. And now it's not under my name. I went through... Uh, because Dan and I have an account together, and I went through that to check it out. And I didn't have any problem with it popping up. And it popped up all three times. Uh, but let me know if anybody else out there that's having a problem with it. Okay. Now, there were... Buku's of bubbles I put in there. Yeah, you see all those little bubbles? I'm not used to seeing bubbles like that in there.
Is that bubbles or is that something in it? It almost looks like something in it, doesn't it? Oh, maybe there's something in this cup. Oh, there was. Oh, poo hiss. Okay. How many times have I said this on this one video? <laughs> okay. So, we're going to try... Okay, come on. Y'all see that spot? It's a piece of glitter. I can't hardly get this tape when I got gloves on. And that was easy enough. I don't know why I struggle. I know that. Okay. Let's see. What color do we want to start out with? I want to start out with the starry. I won first. I just want to see what they look like. And I'll put a little bit in this one. So, blue is my favorite color, so let's go with the Starry Color Series. Deep blue, and it says shake. So, let's go with two drops. Is that two? That was way more than two. I don't see anything. That's weird. It does it even color? So I don't remember y'all. I don't think it colors. I think I got way too much. Look at the bubbles in there. See, I'm not used to the bubbles being in this stuff. I did it. I put every one of these bubbles in here, but pushing on that and squeezing air in it. Okay. Oh. Okay, and this is just the metallic one. Oh, I want those bubbles to go away.
And I can't really tell the difference between the two of them right now. So this will be fun to see when we start curing them. And I don't own a lighter. That's really weird, isn't it? So I'm going to spray. I've never had to do this with this. Okay. Okay. Let's try something. Nope. Okay, let's try the purple. That was the deep blue, so I'm going to stick that over there because I don't remember what this was. It's been a while since one, two, three. I'm just going to put a bunch of squirts in here, y'all, and hope that it cures. I should have one ready though. That looks like it's sort of a purplish color. So let's go with the the purple metallic. Because so we went with blue blue. Let's go with purple purple. Okay. Purple is more opaque than the other one was. Okay. That was purple. Okay, and the next one, deep gold. Okay, wait a minute, let's go with, let's go with the green. I like green. Okay. It's gold. It's golden grain. Let's just go with that one. And we'll decide what we're going to put on them. Yep. 
Oh, you can't really even see that. That's weird. Look at all the bubbles. That's one thing I'm not used to seeing with this stuff. So don't do what I did. If you got a bottle that's almost empty, turn it over and, and wait a while. And then uh, squeeze it out. Hmm. You can't hardly see that. That one doesn't have much in it. You know what I think I want to do? That was blue, right? Let's just do this. It's a diamond glitter. Just have fun with it. I was going back and back, forth, back and forth, and that was not moving at all. That is weird. I like the fact you can manipulate that. Oh, these things are stuck together. This one is weird. It's not moving as good as the other one did. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm just having fun. This is a purple brown. See, I'm going back and forth, back and forth. It's more reddish gold. But I'm going to leave that because I sort of like that. I don't like the blue. The blue is the one that I don't like. So let's put a little bit more. And I'm putting a little bit of the the blue colored UV resin on top of it. I'm going to do the same thing with these and see what happens. that does not belong in there. See, I knew something didn't belong in there. Purple. I probably should have tried eggplant. With the blue.
Okay. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna I'm gonna put it in here. We're just playing, y'all. I'm not really planning on making anything with these. I just want to play with the colors. We didn't use those two. Wow, look at all the metallics. And what we'll do. I know I want. I think I'm going to want that color. So. Whoa. Oh, that is not shook up. Put a little bit more in here. Let's see what happens with this one. That's the gold metallic one. I see something in this and this was a brand new mold I took it out of the package while on the video and look at that that was stuck wow Okay. Almost enough.
Okay, I had that set for five minutes. And when that comes out, we'll try something else. I do want to try these stickers. I think these would be cool. And I do want to make a couple of these two for magnets for the refrigerators for Easter. I've got uh, real Easter magnets, you know, with uh, the cross and stuff like that. Uh, they stay up here around on the side of my refrigerator. But I don't have any like Easter bunny, and we do have we do an Easter egg hunt for the the grandchildren. And I have two small little grandchildren, so they would uh, they would enjoy the little Easter bunny on the refrigerator. Is the bottom light coming on? Yeah, I just had to make sure. Okay, we're gonna very carefully wait a minute, I'm gonna squirt that with alcohol. I've never done that before with this. Should we try to put, I don't want to waste the stickers. I was playing around. Let's see. Oh, here's a butterfly. We can do a little butterfly. What is that noise? I don't like this exacto knife. It does not. It does not have the right edge. I don't know what to, how to explain it, but the edge is not right. What if I like the back better though, and I'm putting the butterfly in? See. Yeah, no, we're going to... I'm taking the butterfly off. They don't have to be perfect, right? They're for my refrigerator. I definitely like the front better. I don't like that one at all. I don't like that one either. <laughs> and I guess what I don't like about it is for the first time I have bubbles. See, I have bubbles right there. I've never... I'm not going to waste my sticker on these. Oh, I don't think this was cured. Nah, in fact, I know it wasn't. Okay. Okay, the air bubble. Okay, that was just on the edge, but this is not. That is inside. I don't like that. Now I can't. Can y'all see? That does not look good. It's I'm chunking it. Okay. Okay. Where's the butterfly? I just took off. I just put it back on here so I wouldn't lose it. There it is. Is there an Easter egg? Let's see if there's little Easter eggs on this one.
Oh, there's no, but there's a little daisy. Goodness, I do not like these exact uh, What a little Easter egg, though. But I don't see one. Just an egg by itself. I like that one. Should I just cut it off? Okay. I'm just playing, y'all. Just playing with the colors. I'm not one that really likes the transparent stuff either. I know a lot of people do, but I don't. I like the OPEG. Maybe that's why I don't like these. <laughs> I mean, they, they're okay. Don't get me wrong. For little refrigerator magnets. I think the purple one came out the best. I don't see... I think I should have used what I should have done. And I'll do that in a minute so we can see if that's the difference. What I should have done was, uh, now these are cute. These are cute. And I think what I'm going to do, because I do want a little bit. And I can do that, and I can make them shimmery. Okay. Put that in again. Oh, I probably should have put this on. Okay, and we're going to put something on that too. So let's see. What about this big old blue duck? I don't like this exact one. <laughs> it's weird. It won't. Yep. There's a little duck. And we'll put a little egg. Looks like a no, it's too big. Is there a little bitty white one somewhere? Those are cute. There's one. I 
Okay. Now I just put it in the middle and then I move it around. But since I know I'm going to put a little bit of shake of glitter, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Oh, that's where really cute now. Okay. Let me put that in there too. Okay, we're going to pour some more. And we're going to use some of this the the new glitter. And let's see. Uh, I think I want pink. And we're going to just do the round ones. Okay, let it come down to the bottom. I'm just going around the edge. Go around the edge in this one. Too. Oop. I'm going to use, what did I do with it? Brown and glitter goes in there, okay. And I'm going to use the pink colored one. I'm just going to move it around. Hold y'all's ears for a minute. It felt thick. Still feels a little thick, but it's better than it was. Okay. We're gonna cure that. Let's see if this is ready. Let's put another boop to put another layer on. I think so. Okay. Let's see, are these done? Now those are cute. 
for little magnets. And I'll put it right behind the dock so you can't see the little magnet. But they would be cute in their or refrigerators. Silver. Um, I don't have anything silver down here. Oh, yes I do. No, not really. Okay, never mind. But that will be cute. That will make a, a cute little magnet. And that one is cute. Little magnets for Easter. These are going to be my favorite though. I don't like these bubbles. Where are they coming from? Okay, now we're going to put just clear, I think. This is for the, the plate. It's actually on the uh, heat mat right now, curing. And we're going to add the little bird to it later tonight. And then top coat. I normally do these with epoxy resin. Okay. We're going to stick these in here. And then once I get through with that, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back when the other stuff is done. Because this is already going way too long. So I do want to get those finished. We'll just save these for another day. Oops. I had forgotten that I had these up here. Well, I had them upstairs. That's probably why I forgot. Um, so I will be playing with those more. I am going to tell you. Because I... I feel bad when uh, I do something off camera. I know that's stupid. Um, but I am going to tell you that I have a mushroom house mold. And you may have set, seen it sitting there. I am going to um, pour that with a mixed mold. The last time I had to craft there, I, uh,
sold every one of those that I had. I'm missing one out of here. I can't figure out what it is. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. And I know that I want to put that little bunny in one. And that little bunny on another one with some of the uh, the flowers. Oh, I don't know. That's cute. There's a button right there. Maybe I should put that one because it's got two of Oh, those are cute. Too. Oh, yeah. See, I don't know. have my annual physical tomorrow. I hate going to the doctor. I am not one that enjoys it at all for any reason whatsoever. And I was supposed to go have my blood work done a week before the... But I didn't get that done. <laughs> and it is what it is. I will go if I feel like I need to go. I'm not one of these that just refuses to go. I go and have my physicals every year. And if I'm sick, like when I fell, I went to the doctor. And, I, you know, I've gone to physical therapy before because my arm messed up. That was years ago. But I will go. I just don't enjoy it. I mean, but who does, right? Well, actually, there are some people who do. This is the one that I'm going to pour, and I am going to pour this with uh, uh, the mixed mold. I'll probably pour uh, a couple of them, and I'm going to pour them white because I want to uh, paint them myself. So I didn't think that uh, that was something that y'all would like to see me do, just, you know, pour white mixed mold into a mold. Um I'm hoping tomorrow that I'm going to have a, a big uh, haul video. Uh, my doctor's appointment is at 8, 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> that means I am going to be getting up. I can't eat or drink. I can drink water. Uh, so I, I will be getting out of bed, throwing my clothes on, saying, okay, honey, I'm ready, getting in the car, and probably going back to sleep till I get there. I am not an early riser, y'all. realize it's dark hope y'all have been able to see okay I'm gonna pull this out surely it is cured by now that is not sticky it is over poured And it's transparent, and I don't really like transparent stuff, but, I mean, it will work. Uh, you just do that, and it, and it holds the plate. I need to get, oh, uh, yeah, see. I got that stuff all over my hands. Now it's getting all over. Okay. We're going to set that over here. That's super thin. Oh, I don't care. This is just for our refrigerator. Oh, that's just as cute as a button right there. Is that too big for that? Oh, no. Okay. 
and I thought I had to have the exacto knife and I'm just peeling them right off so okay and let's see is there some Easter eggs we can throw in there they're gonna be too big Yeah, a little too big. Oh, well. So your little bitty flowers. Oh, look at the mushrooms. Oh, here's some little bitty flowers. I really want to put an egg. I can't get the flowers. There they go. You're sticking to my okay and I'm gonna get a little bit of egg if I can find one that little bitty oh that's not too big if I can... Okay, good enough. Oh, those are actually quite cute. Uh, I'm wondering if those are done enough. I'm going to check this real quick, y'all. Mm. I don't think it is. <laughs> nope. Nope. Okay. You, you, uh, I'm not going to keep the, the camera rolling. We're at an hour and 59 minutes. I'm going to just top coat those, put a magnet on the back, and I'll be back when that stuff is done so we're, we can finish up. Okay, y'all. I've got those three done. Uh, they're definitely not perfect. I have an issue with this one right here wanting to stay down. And I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of UV resin. And just try to make it stick. Got one more that I've got to get off of here. These are not totally cured, but I waited an hour and a half. I've got a mask on because I'm heating this up, so close your ears. And it stinks really bad when you do this. I did not glue it like I normally do. 
Everybody kept telling me you could just do this. I think I'll go back to my way of doing it. Because it worked a whole lot better. Just putting glue on the back and then rubbing it down. It comes right off. This does not... You can get it off, but it's a fight. I don't think it's coming off. Part of it is. But not most of it. Okay, hold your ears again. Oh, I think I just burnt my heat gun out. Yep. Great. Oh, no. Yeah, I just burnt it out. I was worried about that. Okay. I don't have any way of heating this. Oh, we should have done it my way now. <laughs> it's too late. I'm down to my last one. And it's not coming off. Let me see if I can get the friction going. Whoop. I don't want to get the friction going that way. I don't want to tear it up. I don't have any extras. Okay, let's see. be perfect nope it's not uh, but okay we're going to go ahead and get the top coat on this. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video because it's right at two hours. <clears throat> you, know, you, you can see what it's going to look like without the top coat. And I am. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Uh, and tomorrow I'll do a video where I'm top coating this and finishing it up. Well, now I'm going to go ahead and pour the top coat. I'll show you the finished uh, pieces uh, on the next video, which will be tomorrow, and all the other pieces. And then I also decided to do this in brown, the mushroom house. And so I'll show you that too. And uh, I finished those. Those are adorable. And I'm going to put a magnet on the back, and they're going to go on my refrigerator. And... Then we'll do a drawing for these. 
uh, probably Friday when I do my video on Friday and I'll probably have a secret word in my video tomorrow that you will have to put in on tomorrow's video and Thursday's video and Friday's video all three days to be entered into the contest or the giveaway it's not a contest it's a giveaway for this coaster set it says just a girl who loves crafting which I'm hoping will turn out really cool. The colors so far go good together. So, alrighty, I'm going to say thank you. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs and see the last uh, uh, one of the the Bachelor. Yes, I still watch that show. And uh, I've got to go to the doctor in the morning, but I'm hoping uh, I'll have an order uh, to show you too. Plus, do that. And Benny ships. Oh, oh my. my. My heat gun came on. I guess I overheated it. Well, it's working good. All right. I want to say thank you again so much. Uh, and as always, if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up, the like button for me. Y'all have been doing so great, and I do thoroughly appreciate that. And the comments, you know that I love to read them. And uh, if you have any questions, I try to answer back just as quickly as I can. Um, and if you have any ideas of uh, something I can do uh, for a video, put it down in the comments. Let me know. Uh, if you want to see me painting a little bit more, I brought my good paintbrushes down here. See, I have my good paintbrushes down here. Um, but that is it for today, and I hate leaving it undone, but at least you can see them, um, and I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much, and y'all have a great night. Bye-bye.